Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Christina. In today's video, I'm going to be doing this look right here. It's a very nice, I, I would say lightweight looking um, complexion with just an easy coppery looking eyeshadow. And it's so easy to achieve this look. I wanted to be sure that you could still see my skin through all of this because I wanted to theme this towards a more spring summer look and I don't know about you guys but where I'm living currently it is about 82 degrees and up throughout the days and it's very very hot so I don't like wearing really really heavy cakey um, face makeup during the daytime like at night if I'm going out like I'm going all out. <laughs> if you guys don't already, please make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm on there whenever I'm not on here. Um, and also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the videos that I'm posting. And also if you want, you can hit the notification bell. I know that typically helps people uh, find videos a lot quicker. And yeah, without further ado, if you guys wanna see how to achieve this nice spring, summer, lightweight look, then just keep on watching. All right, so I clipped my hair back um, just to get it out of my face because I am very hot. It's like 82 degrees right now outside and it's coming inside. So I apologize that I look like a child. So I'm actually gonna start off with the face today and I'm using this Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. This is a smooth and pore covering primer and I actually got this, I believe, in a boxy charm. It has a scent to it but it's a very pleasant light scent and I like the way that it feels on the skin. It feels almost silicone like, but it's a mix of silicone and a cream. So it's not heavy, it doesn't pill on the face and it feels moisturizing for all my dry girls out there. I wanna go for something more glowy and more lightweight because in the heat, it's really difficult, at least for me, to wear a lot of foundation. So I tend to try to get coverage out of concealers or primers that have some coverage in them. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be aiming for today. The next product I'm using is this Milani Soft Glow uh, Complexion Enhancer. It's so nice, I actually just bought this a couple days ago and I've used it I think two or three times now and I really really like the way that it looks on my skin. This is what the product looks like right here on my skin. It definitely has a pearlescent glow to it and it's a little more golden yellow undertone so when I get tan I think this is going to be a staple for me. These are the types of products that I love using as primers because I do get oily throughout the day. So I use or I try to use more matte products on my skin, but having this as a base really helps bring out that glow. So I'm just putting it on the high points of my face and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the rest because this is gonna go under all the face makeup um, so I'm not too worried about it looking too shiny. I'm going to use concealer to spot conceal pretty much my entire face. I want my freckles to show through today. I'm going to spot conceal a little bit of my sunspots and some redness on the face and the under eyes. So for that, I'm going to be using this. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in Creamy Beige. I'm hoping this matches still. I've been having trouble finding a concealer for this look because a lot of my concealers are lighter than my skin tone and for this look I need something that matches my skin tone so it doesn't look like my face is uneven so I'm gonna take this Alamar brush it's like a flat brush right here and it has some concealer on it already because I'm terrible about washing my brushes I'm gonna go ahead and start to just place this concealer on some areas and then go in and blend it out so it doesn't dry too quickly because I believe this concealer dries fairly quickly on the face. I have a lot of acne scars right down here on my cheek, so I wanna cover that up. And I'm just gonna take this e.l.f. brush right here. This is a flawless concealer brush. And I'm gonna tap it and then slowly start to buff it into the skin. Just be very gentle with this because you don't wanna completely get rid of the concealer because this is gonna be pretty much what's going to help even at the skin tone. 
Guys, I'm going to Hawaii at the end of the month and I'm so, so excited. If you guys are from there or you used to live there or do live there, please give me any recommendations. I'm going to the big island. We're gonna be there for a week and I'm really, really excited. I love trying local food um, and I'm really looking forward to getting a little bit of color on my skin because I've been feeling extra pale lately. I'm going with my sister, her husband, my boyfriend, and my best friend. Um, and we're gonna go on some hikes. We're planning on spending a lot of time at the beach, going to some local flea markets, just cause we like to do or look for the more local things. Like, of course, I wanna do some touristy stuff, um, but I don't want to just do that because we are going to be there for an entire week all right so that looks pretty good you can still see some of my freckles right here on my cheek i think i pretty much covered up the acne scarring i am going to go in with some powder foundation later um and that's why i'm not too concerned about seeing a little bit of the acne scarring do you guys have any fun summer plans coming up? I, I would love to hear it. I don't have a lot going on except for Hawaii because I'm gonna be pretty busy at work this summer. Some darkness in here that I wanna cover up. And then I'm gonna bring that down into the corners of my eyes too. I am actually gonna go in with my Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in Warm Beige for my under eyes, just cause I feel like this gives me a lot of hydration under my eyes and it still matches pretty well. And I'm first gonna use that same brush to blend this out and then I'm probably gonna go in with a sponge to further blend and make sure that there's no streaks. I wear glasses too, so I have the little indents on my nose. I have to constantly tell myself when I'm trying to go for a lighter look not to just keep building it because I'm so used to just trying to cover up all of the acne scars and freckles, but today that's not what I want. So now that all the concealer is on, I want to put a little bit more of this Milani Glow product. So I'm going to dispense just a little on the back of my hand and I want to reapply this actually on the high points where I feel like I kind of lost some. So I'm going to use these two fingers right here warm it up on the back of my hand and then really lightly dab it on there you want to be careful because you don't want to have that concealer that you just applied moving around and then i'm going to go in with a sponge and further blend it out but tap it really carefully because you want to make sure that that concealer stays put I'm just gonna take a little bit of my L'Oreal, L'Oreal. I'm taking this L'Oreal, oh my gosh, not L'Oreal. Next, I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm just gonna go ahead and set right under the eyes. And I'm just putting a little bit and dabbing it on, mostly on the inner corner, and then almost to the outer half, but I don't wanna cover up that Milani Glow product. And I'm also doing a little bit of powdering next to the corners of the nose because I tend to crease there and I'm gonna do a very light dusting where we applied the concealers because I am using powder foundation and I find that powder foundation sometimes tends to stick to any wet concealer um, that hasn't been set and I don't want that I want a really even coverage so I'm taking this I'm literally taking the tiniest amount like there's probably nothing even on this brush, honestly. Next, for some powder foundation, what I'm gonna be using is my Bare Minerals. This is the matte version, and this is in the color Golden Medium 14. They have so many shades of this foundation. It's really difficult to find yours. For me, I had to ask someone at Sephora to help me color match because I'm really bad at color matching. I'm gonna go in with this. This is a Real Techniques brush. I believe this is just a powder brush. It's a really big one. I think it might be their largest one. And I'm taking a bit on the cap. There's actually a lot on there right now. Um, so I'm just gonna dip in and really get it into the brush and make sure it's not just laying on top. I'm gonna get rid of some of the excess powder because like I said, I don't want too much. Just buffing it onto the brush right here. Then pat it off. Got some product on there. And then I'm gonna slowly start to swirl it onto the face. 
So I'm getting an even distribution all over the face first, and then I'm gonna focus on buffing it in. This is the first foundation that I ever used back in high school. Um, I got the whole kit. It was back when Bare Minerals was being advertised, I think solely on TV. But I got it back then with the foundation, the powder concealer, and the mineral veil. And I loved it. That's like all I wore every morning for school. I would just like buff it on. I feel so pretty. I probably put way too much. It probably didn't even match my skin, but I loved it. <laughs> for my highlight, I want to go a little more gold. So I'm taking Becca's Champagne Pop right here. Or you can use this. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Gold Bar. This is very beautiful. Let me swatch it next to it. I love this for every day because it just looks really good with more medium skin tone so this is wet n wild's highlight and then this is champagne pop champagne pop is just a touch lighter um but the gold bar is so nice i this just you gotta get it <laughs> you gotta get it so i'm gonna take this on my morphe m510 brush and i'm going to just put this anywhere that i want to be nice and highlighted I haven't used this in a hot minute, but ooh, it's so pretty, especially with that Milani glow. I like to put it between my eyes on my nose. I feel like it highlights that nicely, and I have a rather flatter nose, so I feel like it brings it out more. For bronzer, I'm taking this tiny little hourglass bronzer. This is in Radiant Bronze Light. It's really pretty. It has a little bit of shimmer going through the marbling. It looks lighter than it is. Once you swirl your brush all in there, it gives you a really nice sheen. It almost can pull a little orangey red, so be careful about that. I'm using this. I just got this brush recently. This is the Morphe M143 Fan Brush. I wonder why it has like this black streak. I always wonder that. Does anyone know? Just curious, I don't know. Um, but it's a more dense fan brush, I like that. I'm gonna take this huge brush in this tiny bronzer and just really pack it in there. Really generously bronze my face up. I'm not using this as a contour, I just wanna get a little color on the face. Sweep it across the nose just a little so it's not so stark on the cheeks. You guys know my struggle with my brows whenever I try to... Ooh, did you hear my dog? <laughs> so you guys know my struggle with doing my brows on camera, so I'm gonna do them off camera really quickly and I will be right back. Okay, so I just finished my brows and I used the soap brow technique, which I've been loving lately. If you guys haven't watched my favorites video for this previous month, then go ahead and watch it and I talk all about it. But I used my soap brow uh, technique and then I used this ColourPop eyebrow pencil in, it's the ColourPop Brow Boss in Brunette. I've really been liking this. So I'm taking this Nude Sticks. This is in copper foil and I received this in a boxy charm I believe I really really like this shade it's right here it's a beautiful copper shade and I wore this the other day and I got so many compliments on it it's easy you can just glide it on there and it looks so nice because of the shade so I'm first going to apply a good amount and then I'm taking my pinky because it's the smallest finger so more control on where it's gonna go and blend it out and it's nice and subtle and then I'm just going to build it up to give it a little bit more intensity. Periodically, I'm going to wipe my pinky on a paper towel so I don't start to get product everywhere. I rarely find cream eye products that don't crease and this is one of them and I'm definitely going to be using this all the time in the summer or just in general. Okay, so I like that right there. You could definitely just leave it like this. Honestly, it looks really, really nice already. Um, but I'm going to give it a little more definition because my eyes are a bit hooded. I want to make sure that it gives it a little bit more depth with another shade. And all I'm going to do is take that same hourglass bronzer. I'm going to swirl a brush in there and then just brush it along my crease and really blend it out. I 
And I'm just gonna take a smaller brush right here to take this bronzer down underneath the eyes, just to kind of tie it all together. So I'm connecting it here at the corner and then just really blowing it out under here. Nothing extremely precise. I really just wanna make sure that it's just not bare. Like I said, it's not necessary to do this because this nude stick does stay put, but I want to set the eyelids just to give it a little bit more, I guess. I'm going to take this shade right here from the Urban Decay, what is this, Born to Run palette. This is in the shade Ignite, and I'm literally just going to take my finger, take like this much, it's pretty much nothing, and I'm just going to set right here the lightest amount. Next, I'm gonna take this Thrive Cosmetics eyeliner. So I'm gonna take this Ella eyeliner and I'm going to tight line. I'm using a brown because I feel like it looks a lot better. It is so hard for me to tight line without like pulling my eyelid up, but I've been trying really hard not to do that. And then I think what I wanna do is I'm gonna take a little bit on the upper lash line, draw it on there, and then smudge it out with a brush. And I'm only going like a third of the way in. So just like that. Then I'm going to smudge it out. I want to take this and put a little bit of that brown on the lower lash line. Just right here on the outer part. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to drag it up and connect it. And I guess I'm going to do a little tiny flick but like be super careful because you don't want a full-blown like wing this is a Sigma small angle brush this is an e65 I find it a lot easier to apply some on the lower lash line and then wing it upwards rather than taking what's on the upper lash line and winging it out because I feel like I get uneven lines that way. So taking it and literally just bringing the line where it naturally connects and goes up is a lot easier for me. So next I'm going to curl my lashes just a little bit. I'm not going to do my whole entire curl thing. If you've seen um, my lash video that I have recently uploaded, then you'll know what I mean about doing the full on like curl. So I have these. These are the Kiss lashes. These are trio lashes, so it goes a lot faster than just doing one of these little ones in the trio. And I really like the short and medium mix right here, and it has a little glue pocket, so you can just put your lash glue in there. And I know that individual lashes are not for everyone, so maybe try out these trios and see how they do for you. It takes a lot more time, but it looks really nice because you can customize how you want your lashes to look. So I'm not gonna do my entire lash line, I'm just gonna do probably halfway. I'm just gonna lay it right down on my lash line. All right guys, so I finished applying the individuals and then I put some mascara on. I have about two medium and two short lashes of the trio lashes on each eye right here. I put some mascara, my Lancome mascara, and then I put some on my bottom lash line. If you have any black brown or brown mascara in general, I think that would be really, really pretty to put under the lash line to go with the eyeliner, but I unfortunately don't have any black brown or brown mascaras. I'm just going to put a little bit of this on to go with the sheen. This brush from Moda Cosmetics. I got this in a BoxyCharm too. Wow, this is like not sponsored by BoxyCharm. I've just been really trying to use the products that I've been getting, but this is part of a little duo brush set that I received. It really is nice for blush because it applies it really beautifully. It's never too much in one area and it just looks airbrushed. Like see, look at that. That's pretty, that's beautiful. So to finish it off, I'm going to put some products on my lips. This is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb, the original shade, and then this is the Nude Stick um, Lip and Cheek Pencil in the shade Mystic. I forgot about this for a little while. It's so pretty, it's like a pinky taupe almost. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to apply the Gloss Bomb. I love the way that this smells and the way it looks and feels and just everything about this product is Perfect. And then to give it a little bit of definition, because my lips are really uneven, I'm going to use the nude sticks. Nude stick, 
smooth sticks. And I'm just gonna use it to kind of go on the outer corners and then line it so it's more even, you know? All right guys, and that is everything for this look. I like that you could still see my freckling and you can still see my actual skin through all of this and just a nice copper looking summer eyeshadow look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos just like this one and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!